So testing this, I'm hoping maybe this will work. I'm I, actually give me a second. I just gotta maybe. Okay, so hopefully this will work. I'm not really sure how this is gonna work. I have a couple games in mind for this four-hour stream. Originally, Lottie was supposed to be doing this, but uh, she has work, which is uh, which obviously takes precedence. So I'm going to try and make up for that with other. Nintendo, GameCube games, that sort of stuff, you know? Like, um, and the main games I have on hand are, well, I can't really play Super Mario Sunshine like she did, because sadly, my emulator isn't exactly that good, but I can play very, but the main games I'm considering playing, including the game we're going to be starting with, is Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, the game we're starting with, possibly of Kel later on, she had to restart her computer for something. Yeah, we have to do, um, let's see, um, we, we're going to be doing, uh, possibly Metroid Prime and Xenoblade Chronicles. Obviously, with the amount of time we have, we're not going to get through all three, like, easy peasy, but, you know. You do what you can, and y you get, you play of what you can, you know? So, let's start with Pokemon XD. Now, fair warning, I'm, I am going to be, like, editing my, uh, fucking OBS real quick while I do, while I do this. So, hopefully, it should be okay. Um, let me edit the scene real quick. Alright, this should be good. Now this is not really, this is not in widescreen or anything like that, so it will be a bit on the smaller side, and I apologize for that. Uh, like, there are, cl I would use widescreen hacks and stuff like that, but there are a lot of clipping issues and stuff like that because of that. So I'm not going to go for that. And let me just do something real quick because, oh my god, the loud. It's so loud. And, no, no, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Now, the issue with this, at least for me. Like it's having a little bit of stuttering issues. That's what that's the main issue I've been having. I'm emulating these games, by the way. I do note though that Pokemon XD is a game that I did own and I have played through when I was a child. And actually kind of sort of sort of more so recently. I think I still have a copy of it actually. I just don't know where, so I'm yeah. I don't know. Right now it's just being finicky. Yeah, like it's stuttering a lot, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reset it real quick. I'm gonna restart it real quick. Alright, give me a second. Uh alright. Try it one last time. Now again, I'm not sure how this how well this is gonna work, because um it is really being finicky. It's kind of being half and half and how it's gonna work. Like, it's been constantly, like, bad. like the stuttering, not only, like, audio-wise, but also graphically, which is really annoying. Okay, I think we should be good now. It is all good. I mean, I, I haven't tried, like, a new game yet, so... I don't know, maybe it will be fixed by the time I get into a new game. If not, I'll try a different game. Hope it works. Let's just hope for the best. Well, actually, let's try out versus mode and see how Pokemon battles work out very well. Battle. Over CPU. Uh, well, nah, nah, let's just start the game. If we can't do it, we can't do it. Oh, well, that's fine. Well, I'll deal. Start a new story. So, new name. And we'll go in there as... Tau. I don't know, maybe it was working pretty well earlier, so maybe because I'm streaming. I'm not sure.
Well, that was random. As is this. Okay, we have any Pokemon? We have Salamence, level 50. As said, kind of sudden for a random fit level 50, but hey, whatever. Oh, we have like the okay, we have the Salamence, yeah. Uh, so, Earthquake. Yeah, the graphical effects are being a bit finicky with this game. Hmm. Alright, uh, let's just keep at it, see how it goes, and hopefully, if, if it breaks, if, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's fine. I'll deal. Yay! I I want to trade. I want a trading battle that was totally fake. No, really. All right, Tal. This will do for today. Yes, sir. That was a well-played battle. Tal, your battle skills have improved by an amazing amount. I mean, it was impressive the way you handled that big Pokemon with a plumb. You took command of it as, as if it were the same as your Eevee. Don't you think it's time to consider raising other Pokemon beside your Eevee? Fuck no! Eevees are awesome! Uh, so yeah, it is lagging a little bit more now that I'm moving around and such. I'll save right here in case I, I if I do find like a better way to, the, to stream this, I, I I don't know I may have to tinker with the settings a little bit more. Yay knowledge, that knowledge. Uh, let's see. Here. Hello there. Hello Tao. Are you done with training for now? You must be tired. Seeing like this, my Tao, you have grown up to be such a fine young lad. Tao, if only you keep saying my name. Everyone keeps saying my name. I don't need to be reminded of my name. Oh yes, and my father is dead. That sucks. Okay, so it is all like just uh, tutorial stuff. Nothing too major. Uh, we, we've all, I'm sure we've all played a Pokemon before. There there are some new mechanics coming with XD and with uh, Coliseum, but other than that, there's nothing too major. Hi, Tao. Have you finished your training? Tao, this is the director's office. Did, did you want to pay a visit to Professor Kane? Fact. Professor Crane? Or Prof Crane? <laughs> you don't need to be that stiffly official, Lily. But, uh, oh yes, I heard about the battle coach shaking high praises about you, ta uh, about you, Tao. I've heard that your battle skills have improved dramatically recently. That's outstanding, Tao. I don't think you'd, I'd stand much of, a much of a chance against you. I wish everyone wouldn't drown them with such gushing praise all the time. My son and daughter will become spoiled rotten. I don't realize that's a bad thing, but uh, whatever. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. Ta both Tao and Jovi are both wonderful kids. Who is this Jovi? I must destroy them. Well, not really, but you know. By the way, I don't think I've seen Jovi since like lunchtime. I can't speak today. I don't. I mean, I need a drink. One second. Let's take a sip of this. Much better. Okay, Tao. I'd hate to bother you, but but could you go find Jovi for me? Tao, I think you already know, but several research projects are under critical phases in this lab. That's why your mother can't afford to take any time off this incident. So please, will you go find Joey for me? No. Oh, don't be so rebellious. <laughs> okay, fine. Jesus. Okay, yeah, I, f I think I've already gone through all this enough. I, I like. Okay, PDA. It's essentially a thing that lets you check through. I believe you can use like email. You can look through the different Pokemon you've encountered, the Pokemon's, the Pokemon you encountered, and that sort of stuff. It's it's nothing like too major, and I think it also is used for some later in-game mechanics. But uh, yeah, let's go find our room. Uh, 
Tao, have you seen Jovi? We're playing hide and seek, but Jovi's been one for a while. Now she's playing. Maybe, maybe she was playing. Or blah. I can't speak. <sighs> I can't speak worth a damn today. Okay, so check my room. It's Tao's room, but lately his si kid sister appeared to have the run of the place. What's that shiny thing? It's a P star D A. Why is there a star in it? Why? I, I I guess to make it look cool, but to Tao Crane. If you're reading this email, then you must have obtained a PDA. Try out its many features. By the way, Adon was playing hide and seek with Jovi, not have a chat with him. So generally, what we did earlier. Also, potions, free potions. There are free of them. Did I mention there are free potions? Free potions. Yeah, like the it's not going away, I don't think. Oh hi, it's you, Tao. It's me, Adon. I'll probably never speak of you again, but hey, it's pretty cool to meet you. You look for Jovi? We're so, we're supposed to be playing hide and seek right now, but she's not around anywhere. Well, maybe she's going off to Dr. Kamenko's Aunt Manor. It's a big, weird house southeast of here. It... I... From past experience, I haven't played in a while, but from past experience, I do remember it being quite strange. And... Don't mind the guy in there, he's, uh... He's hiding under the... Yeah. Oh. TV. We bring you to ONBS News. Authorities have still failed to find any traces of the, tar of the cargo ship SS Libra since its sudden disappearance off the coast of Gadian Port. Or er, Gadian. There has been no reports of floatsums that may have indicated the, the ship's sinking. The authorities have appeared mystified by, by the way the ship vanished like smoke. There are reports of numerous Pokemon who are on board. Concern is rising over their wel welfare. Okay, so, um, there is one detail that I do think is kind of... Oh, I can actually move around the right stick. I just noticed that. That's... I did not know you can move around the... I mean, I can understand moving around the D-pad. I mean, that's obvious. But I didn't know you can move around the right stick. But, uh, yeah, essentially... Why is it at Gadeon Port, where, you, where it disappears, if before, like, back when, you know, you first go to the main, like, when, when you first see the, sh the ship being taken away by a massive fucking Lugia, it's not being taken by, like, a port or anything. It's not being taken by, like, to the port. It's not being taken from the port. It's in the middle of the ocean. Like, into the Rath Middle. Your dad's, like, lost at sea and everything. So, if you if it were just at Gadian Port, he would have been found instantly. No problem whatsoever. Spooky. It's like a big Groudon right here too. That's cool. I can get behind that. I can get behind a Groudon. See, I'm behind the ground down. Okay. Wait, who goes there? Oh yeah, like little stubby guy. You must be a burglar. Chobin will put you straight. Don't you move. Chobin is the name, and Chobin is the number one assistant of Dr. Kamenko. Chobin is the only assistant, so Chobin has to be the number one assistant. And is it? Okay. Okay. Anyway, continuing. Bam. Kamenko A. Chobin would like to battle. So, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness works a bit different. Uh, unlike this battle, almost every battle, unlike the first couple battles, 
almost every single one are double battles. It kind of shoves that in your face. Double battles are literally all over this game. And it had the focus on Shadow Pokemon, which we won't be seeing until later on. It's... A, I think it's a fun game. I, I think it's a good. I, I think it's a good. And I think Eevees are adorable, so that's a, that's a big plus for me. Even though I'm pretty sure that's not how you bite something. That, that's, that's, uh, yeah, that's not how you bite. That's not how you bite at all. Anyway, you gain 55 experience points. That's always good. <coughs> Pardon me. Chobin lost! Oh. And he's just gonna keep going like that. Forever. He never found his glasses again. And 105... 150 Poké Dollars. That's always good. That's always fantastic. You've made Chobin angry now. Even though Chobin lost, you're not getting pa going past Chobin. Huh? Closer in observation reveals that the subject is a child. Ergo, the subject is not a burglar. You really do not know children these days. Aha! Chobin wishes you spoke up right away. Your Tao? Chobin apologizes for jumping to the wrong conclusion. And there's Jovi. I... I don't care much for Jovi. She's not like straight up super annoying sister levels, but... She's not like useful in any way. Big Rubber got... you got lost, didn't you? No! Yes. House is Dr. Kamiko's. Dr. Kamiko's job here is to make incredible inventions. Okay. The inventions are really not that good. Also, derp indeed. Oh, thank you for changing the title for me. Um, the, yeah. I'm, um, I'm kind of not sure how much I can continue with this because I do think that this game is, like, the stuttering is getting kind of grating. Plus, I, I don't really know how much that I can talk about with Pokemon XD Gale Darkness. Oh yes, Tao. You will have a look at Dr. Kamiko's inventions. You will, yes? Okay, this way, please. Follow Chubbin. Okay, then. That was... that dead. dead. Chabu, now you show you the inventions of the in inestimable Dr. Kamenko. These are certainly interesting words. Just give me a second, I just want to check something real quick. Okay, alright. Should be good. Okay. I need to click all the things. Okay. Dr. Kamenko's inventions, it needs to be said, are the number one in the world. Chabu is full of admiration. The inventions are... The inventions are certainly ama amazing in one way or another. Oh, why does Chabin know that they're number one in the wor worldwide? That needs explaining. In the whole world, no one else but Dr. Kamenko would invent such inventions. Therefore, they are number one in the whole world without que question. Our Dr. Kamenko, who is verily great, is inventing in that room there. Okay. Uh, it seems okay. Anyway, let Chabin acquaint you with just some, with just some of Dr. Kamenko's greatness. Let the VCR roll. Oh my God, I feel old. Let the VCR roll. Dr. Kamiko's inventions are number one in the world. Chobin's choice is, ta is this, ta-da, the unhealthy sandals. The insoles are studded with lumpy nubs that fail to stimulate every pressure point in a fabulous way. Keep wearing these, and Chobin will guarantee painful feet and chronic worsening of your health. 
chop and fix it's super, super, superlative. Superlative? You know what? Fuck it, whatever. Superlative. So, yeah. The inventions are interesting. The Zap's inventions, which are fantastic, can be seen on this monitor. Shopping gets you to, it gives you permission to use this anytime you like. Okay. Obviously. I, I don't know how long we're going to do this. Because I don't think I will, I will last very long with this goddamn stutter, which is really starting to get on my nerves. Dr. Kameka's inventions are number one in the world. Chopin's choice is this. Ta-da! The power draining light bulb. At first glance, it's an ordinary sort of plain light bulb, but it positively gulps electricity at ten times the usual rate. <laughs> Keep doing this, and the electricity bills will, will grow shockingly, and it won't be easy to find out why. Chopin thinks it's dazzling. Dr. Kamenko's inventions are number one in the world. Chopin's choice is this. Ta-da! The superpowered jet vacuum cleaner. Oh, joy. Whatever it sucks up, it blows out the rear using a powerful jet propulsion that shreds dust into fine particles. The more you vacuum, the more your, gets, get, your room gets covered in an invisible coat of dust from corner to corner. Chopin thinks this is splendorous. Splendorous. Splend... Splend... Ah. Dr. Kameko's inventions are number one, blah, blah, blah. the power saver refrigerator. If the person purpose is to conserve power, you won't be making a mistake with this refrigerator. It is truly one of a kind. It's an ultra energy saver that usually stays off. It, it only turns on when its sensor detects someone's head, uh, in front of it. Food goes bad right away, but no one knows why because the refrigerator is on when the door is opened. Job and thinks it's splendid. Yeah, yeah, food boiling. The time cut recorder. Oh joy! When you're recording with the when you're, when you're recording a TV program, this device ends the recording five minutes early. If you record a movie, you bet you'll be at the best part at the end when suddenly the screen goes blank. Chopin thinks this is astonishing. It'd basically be cutting off the end of every YouTube video where they say like, favor, and subscribe. And I feel like that would be a very useful technology nowadays. And the discount calendar. It only has 300 days in a year. Anyone using this will lose 65 days a year. Job thinks this is astounding. I don't know why. I actually cannot think of a reason why that it would exist ever. Because I can understand like others if you're like a fucking masochist. I just can't understand that one. The Poke Pole. It's not a ball, it's a pole. Like the Pokeball, it's painted red and white, but it's just a pole. People will confuse it with a, po a, with a Pokeball, and society will be engulfed in chaos. <laughs> it's, it's a pole. The Haunted Radio. It works just like an ordinary radio, that it is until 2 in the morning. Ready to listen closely, you'll hear a tiny voice. Please help me. Maybe Dr. Kamenko put in an odd program to do that. He denied it, but he must have done it absentmindedly. He must have. Chopin thinks it is frightfully excellent. And any others? Okay, yeah, we're back to the unhealthy sandals. Boop. I'm trying to interact with you. Interact with me, damn it. Hi, big brother. This is a funny drawing. It's a really detailed drawing of a really weird machine. That sounds about right, considering what he makes all the time. Huh? Are you going home already? But you just got here. Oh, Jovi gets it. Jovi had to show you how to get home, right? Okay, that's what Jovi will do. Jovi will take you home. Mimi, let's go home with big brother. That is a terrifying sound for a tiny Pokemon. And then we just walk out and he just says, Chopin, please be sure to let the door next time. 
Okay. And email. Dear Tal, you have appeared to have traveled far in your search for jo Jovi. Please come back to the HQ lab as soon as you find her. I need your help with something. Have you been stalking me? How did you know I traveled far? Hmm. Okay, let's head back. Kind of a creepy stare he's giving her in the background, like... Oh, Jovi, haven't I told you not to wander any away by yourself? You don't understand, Big Brother was lost, so Jovi brought him here. If Jovi weren't there, Jovi bet he'd be crying now, saying he can't go home. Uh, as I said, useless. Horribly, horribly useless. Tal, thanks for finding Joey for me. Oh yes, Professor Crane wanted to see you, Tal. Please go to see him right, right away. I think he's probably in the other room. Fuck. Yeah, the stutter is getting worse. It's getting kind of annoying. Well, if it's up to me, you know. Mm. I mean, if I have no one else to talk about. Because I'm really bad at talking about Pokemon, because what else is there to talk about? Unless I have, like, someone to talk with about it. And I don't really have anybody to really talk with. So I think I'm going to stop playing Pokemon for now and play something a little bit different. It's still an RPG, technically, but hey, it's... Shut up! Okay. Yeah, the stutter's getting worse, so I'm just gonna back up. Because I think, like, last I checked, this one works perfectly fine. At least, I'm pretty sure it does. I could be wrong. Maybe. I hope not. Please. Okay. Luckily, we're not playing with the Wii mode. thank you very much. Uh, I apologize for asking this again. Can you please change the title to Xenoblade Chronicles? Anyway, Xenoblade Chronicles. This game is beautiful and amazing, and I love it. And I've only played it a tiny bit to, like, test it out, and that's about it. Uh, I didn't really even get past, like, the tutorial or anything. I got past the prologue, but that's about it. This game is amazing, and I love it. It's quite possibly my favorite game. Like, well, not my favorite favorite. Like, Persona 4 is my favorite favorite, but... This is my favorite Wii game of all time, for sure. Like, bar none. I just wish it didn't take so long to load. Anyway. See you in Long ago, the world was nothing more than an endless sea. Cloaked in a boundless sky reaching as far as could possibly be imagined. Then two great titans came into existence. The Bionis and the Maconis.
The Titans were locked in a timeless battle. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Eons have passed. Now, our world, this vast land stretching across the remains of the Bionis, is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mechon. advancing down our weak right flank. For a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. Young man. We've been given the order to retreat. We're pulling back the line to Colony 6. That's where we'll set up the last line of defense. Yeah. That's a good idea. Any more time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. Count me in. We gotta get out of here. Or we can stay and fight. What? Ah. We uh. may die if we take a stand here, but staying gives us the chance to change our destinies. We have the Monado. With this, the future is ours for the taking. Stupid beast. Your body can't take any more of the Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. Hmm. I should have known I couldn't talk sense into a beast. Let's do this. I'm going with you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse off. As long as you think you've still got the strength in you, old man. Oi, you two! We've been ordered to pull back! I'm leaving! Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do without those? <sighs> The enemy's second wave is approaching! It's now or never, Dunban. Let's show them what we've got. We'll give them a warm Homs welcome. Acknowledged. Yeah! Ha! What are they trying to prove? I'm not throwing my life away! No point dying in some godforsaken field! Nothing for it. I'll have to use Dunban as a decoy. Yeah. That should give me time to escape! <laughs> So this is the prologue. The way this game plays is through auto attack. It plays similar to that of an M MMO, and thank you for changing the title, by the way. Um, it's a it plays similar to that of an MMO. You auto attack enemies, and you select skills based on the lower the lower part down here that you will see in about two ish seconds. You pick a you pick an enemy, battle battle pallet shows up, and you've got a bunch of moves to select from. So let's start the battle. Now with Mechon, they work a bit interestingly. Any any enemy can be hit damaged with Monado. At least any enemy except for Homs, which are humans. Well, and and, and like any other race that was born on the Mech the Bionis. Well, actually, I'll, I'll just keep that stuff for later. For right now, main thing we need to know is that our party members cannot do damage to the mech on without the enchantment that you see right there. Or we could just use Monado Buster, use our whole meter, and spend and do a crap ton of damage to everyone. That said, long term gains, you know? Long term gains. 
so let's go ahead and do this. And then Buster. So, yeah, essentially, Dunban is the sort of protagonist for right now. He's the pseudo protagonist for right now. He's working alongside Mumkar over there, who's got the claws, and Dixon, who's got that sword gun thing. I, I don't really have a word for it. It's, it's a gun blade. It's a gun blade. Sure, let's go with that. And we got one more right here. Enchant to give everyone a little. Oh, an enchant also gives people a damage buff, which is something they don't really say on the main description, but they do say in the actual game, like later on. And this one does increase damage to Mechon, so that destroyed pretty easily. Monado is always really good against Mechon. It's basically the anti-Mechon weapon. Looks like the Mechon are hell bent on taking us out. They'll have to be if they want to beat us. Now, let's even the odds a bit. You heard him. Dixon, Munka, let's do this. It ain't funny. Looks like this is it. At least we know our luck can't get any worse from here. Dumban! Dixon, take care of the survivors. Dumban, what are you playing at? <sighs> Those idiots. I'll just come and get the banana when everything's quiet out of it. That thing's gonna be mine! <laughs>
A mech on M71. I bet I can use its optical system to align one of the anti-air batteries. Oh, no good. It's broken. The joint section. It's buckled. It's completely useless. Ugh. An M69! <sighs> its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just get it off, I should be able to... Ah! Ah! <sighs> Shulk! Ah! Right. It's not a mechon. It's just a crabble. It was using the mech on armor as a shell. I'll lure it away and top it. When it's down, use your arts to finish it off. Okay, first things first, uh, welcome to the chat, PK. And, um... Generally, what they mean is... Top toppling is one of the main mechanics of the actual game. You topple someone and they basically can be... They can basically take a lot of damage. They take they take extra damage essentially, and they can't act and they can't act back. So that's always fantastic. There's also another mechanic added onto that later on, but I'll go into that when we get to that, if we get to that. That said, now we're playing as Shulk, who has well a few different moves from from Dunban. He has Churn Strike, which inflicts a break, which is essentially allows people to, to, to topple enemies. We have Backslash, which does more damage from behind, and Light Heal, which restores HP. Okay, so that was basic as always. That, that, that was just about as basic as expected. You know, for, for like a first fight with new characters. Then we got this guy to deal with. This green barrier basically means it's a mandatory fight. You have to fight the fight. Now, the thing is, with this game, um, well, the middle one is special. The middle foot, the middle art you see right there, the one, the, the big sword one, like the big sword one that I have my cursor over right now, is special. It increases under special circumstances, namely attack, namely doing damage, attack, and that sort of stuff. Generally, if you do damage of it, like namely of auto attack, you charge it up, and then once it's charged up, you can use it. Man, what were you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah, but thanks to you, we got its shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. I'm more worried about you than the shell. Oh, whatever. Knowing what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. This scrap driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. Of course, Dunban's weapon still beats them all. The Monado. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You will, Shulk. Anyway, we better get back to the colony. If I'm late for drills again, old Square Tash is gonna kill me. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. He's pretty scary. Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. So now we're a little bit more open in what we can do. We've got some items right here, by the way, as well, so I'm going to go ahead and grab these. And, yeah. Tutorials, tutorials are okay, that's fine, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's a general area, blah, 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 blah. Nothing really too major out of he out here. There's a couple of enemies, but that's about it. Nothing too major. Let's see what we can check out with this real quick. Alright, <sighs> so I'm a little bit tired. So we can't really check out anything right now, except for like, 
little bit of equipment, but nothing too major. Um, generally, the way that, this is like one of those really long games where it, but it's one of those also games where like it's not really heavily grind based. You can basically go for this whole game without grinding, which is to me fantastic gameplay. Uh, play game design. Like, if you can get through a whole game without grinding, or with grinding, I feel like that's some fa that's some good game design right there, you know? You make it entirely optional, and it basically keeps it independent to who the type of person who wants to play. At least, I think so. Oh, shit. So yeah, toppling actually to... I believe it increases damage, and it, for sure... It, it keeps him from moving, it keeps him from attacking, that sort of stuff. So that's always useful to have. That's always useful to be able to topple enemies. I think we can pretty much move past all the enemies until we get the like, side quests. Enemies aren't too big of an issue, aside from like boss, from like side bosses and stuff like that. Now, those little blue or that little blue orb I just picked up is a collectible. Collectibles are something you collect throughout the entire game, and they're generally useful for getting for filling the collectopedia, using for side quests and various other things. And actually, funny enough, this is not Australian. This is fully localized with your Euro with European voice actors. Um, for example, like, uh, but um, I but for example, Shulk here is voiced by Adam Halden, the voice of, say, uh, what's his name from fucking? Fe I I can't. Believe I feel dumb for not knowing this stuff uh, on hand. But it's uh, but voiced by one of the main characters of Dragon Age Two, um, also playable in Dragon Age One, um, and. Yeah, generally Adam, Adam Halden's a really great voice actor, at least I think so. And, oh yes, I also have this. Just make hop sounds, little hopping sounds, because that's always a fun time. Oh shit. Yeah, you got it. Okay. okay. But uh, yeah, the entire voice cast, because this was uh, this was only localized for a European release, was European, and they never really made a U.S. release of it. Make, making honestly, compared to most other releases of uh, you know like RPGs and stuff like that, it's very unique amongst all most other RPG releases. Because typically they have like the like the voice at least voice acting wise. I feel like it adds a vibe to the game that really not many other games aside from like Dragon Age or uh, you know that sort of stuff like or like olden day stuff don't don't really have except it's more of a sci-fi game and I really dig that. Here we are. I better stop in at HQ. You off to the weapon development lab? Yeah, when I've sold any parts I can't use. All right, see you later. And now we're on our own. Ryan has gone off back to training, and we can now go to shops. And of course, sell some loot. Though, not all loot is really good to be sold. Like, some actually are really useful for our future, you know, side quests and stuff like that. Some of them are actually, um, really annoying because sometimes you have a side quest and you miss out on a certain item that you just can't get. Anyway, of course, there are also, fa there are also side quests and there's also trading, which is really... Uh, trading is going to be your fucking lifeline. Trading is essentially the best way to get items for a side quest or that sort of stuff 
without having to like grind for the items. You trade over people, give them an item of equal or upper or upper value, per particularly of upper value typically, but you know whatever. Mainly because of the fat. Oh yay! Red orbs, by the way. Red orbs are definitely quest items, like quest only. You only need them for quests, and you don't need them for like the collectopedia. And you can also talk to people, and if they aren't generic NPCs, like if they have like names and stuff like that, they'll be added to your f to a. Uh, well, I'll show you. The affinity chart is essentially a big chart of relationships between every single character you ever meet. It can become massive, goes between five different locations, and almost every single character is intertwined with another through side and it's constantly shifting because of shot of side quests and various other pet and various other details. And I generally really like it. I think it's pretty cool. Let's oh, the door over here, for example. I believe there's actually a side quest pretty, pretty early on with Dorothy, but I could be wrong. Uh, I think it's like um, her wanting to like get a specific job, and I'm not sure which, but yeah. Yeah, this guy's generic. He won't be added to the NPC list of people. And hello there, you have a side quest for me. Dearie me, my grandsons are having quite the altercation. And now, I now to get the upper hand, they're both in training. That doesn't sound good. Have you ever seen anything so heard anything so ridiculous? I certainly haven't. I do hope the younger of the two wins, though. He's my flesh and blood, after all. So, okay, we're gonna be going really late, like, the Okay. That's why I'd like someone to take him the biscuits I've made. It might encourage him to trade harder. Okay, yeah. So, generally, not too bad. It's it's general side quest stuff. Nothing too major. We got, so we got like, the shop over here. That's always pretty good. Let's buy ourselves some new stuff. Or not, because I can't really buy anything new for my weapon-wise. But I can buy some stuff for my head. Head is good. The heads are good. Actually, I'm going to go with nine cap, so I'm going to go with that, yeah. Uh, nine top, uh, parlor jacket. Mm. That's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good price for the amount. And nine cuffs. And bottom. Which will be, uh, nine bottoms. Col meaning, like, colony nine and all. Also, they have, like, skill books, which, of course... They're essentially ba these are like basic skill books that only get like to the higher levels. You get to the higher levels through like you know getting them from like bosses and such, or getting from like rare drops. They're they're a tad hard to come by, but they're useful to get. No, I don't want the tutorial. Shut the fuck up. Uh, let's see here. Let's change up our clothing. Oh, and one of my favorite details in any any RPG. It actually changes like the outfit. I I, I I always love that. I always love that. Like that actually isn't that much of a difference though, sadly. Sad. I actually really like the when they're like really different, like, like distinctly different, you know what I mean? But oh well. We we have goggles now, so everything's okay. Everything's okay. We've got goggles. Now, shops aren't exactly too common, like, they're f they're typically kind of spread, and, like, there's typically only one or two of each shop, uh, of, like, a, one or two shops in, like, different areas. Oh. Hey. Hi there. I guess I will listen here. Hello there, youngin. I've got something that, that might interest you. You, you have a very buffness. Okay, rather, something to tell you. About this here furnace. When creatures die, they leave feature ether crystals. Ether. I need a drink. Everyone knows that, don't they? 
Either particles in the body are... Oops, that stuff's too complicated. Just remember that creatures drop you for crystals whenever they die. But I haven't gotten to the best part yet. Ready? Don't be shocked. This furnace compresses ether crystals and removes impurities. You can use it to make ether gems. No reaction? Hmm, kids these days. You don't know how amazing this thing is. You can make it, use the furnace to make ether gems. They got the power of ether crystals, but highly condensed. Those ether gems can give you all sorts of powers. They're great for use in the home, in the home or by the defense force. Just put them in weapons and armor with slots. What? That's not much of a reaction. Never mind, you'd probably be quicker for you to try it anyway. If you want to give it a try, just put gems in your weapon slots. That weapon of yours will do just fine. The sad thing is that his furnace isn't working right now, so we're going to have to wait until we actually he it's actually set. Sadly, we cannot actually use the furnace. Broken down. Oh, you don't look too bothered. Never mind, just try coming back later. Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and equip those real quick, because I forgot that I that he gave you Ether Crystals. And Ether Crystals are good, because buffs. All of the buffs. All of the buffs. All of the buffs. And I got an achievement. Uh, achievements aren't exactly too, anything too major, at least I don't think so. Like, they're basically generally, uh... They're, they're generally just telling you, Oh, you did it good. This is going towards your completion. And stuff. Yeah. Good job. Also, this person has some quests, and I forgot I still have the main menu up. Do you know where to, where to find Vang Teeth? My grandma keeps telling me that she needs two of them. They must be for her handicrafts. Generally, blah blah blah, generic side quests. If they're from an NPC that doesn't really have a name, it's typically a super generic side quest. They're, they typically range around... Typically side quests are find something or kill something. Now that said, you can find like multiple side quests all over the place. It's not exactly difficult to find them around. For example, this guy has plenty. Hand bonnets. Very dangerous to the guns at the colony. Fight them with your fists. Or your sword, that's two. And then he's got another one. Could you go and pummel some beach crabbles? They mill about in the commercial district. Blah 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 blah. Beach crabbles. Fuck yeah. You can pretty much accept that any side quest that you want, and there aren't that many that that are delayed, like they have like a time limit, unless they are in a location that will change over the course of the game, which is a, which can be a massive fucking spoiler. Anyway, blah blah blah, Tefra, wood bonnets, pretty cool. Anything else? Light skeeters, cool cool. Let's go punch them. But for right now, we must go forth. And oh, I, hey, go go. Okay, don't die, you. No, okay. Central Plaza. <sighs> oh my. Up oh, and story time. Oh, wait, nope. Discovering landmarks. Basically, landmarks. Discovering landmarks give you NPC. Uh, not NPCs. Fucking. They give you experience, obviously, as you can see. But there are like su. There are some that are like super well hidden that give more experience. Like super well hidden. Oh, and something they don't really teach you. If you find all the landmarks and like locations in a certain look in a certain area, the, the the map basically fills out the rest of the areas itself. It's pretty cool, actually. You idiots! What the hell are you playing at? Uh oh, the colonel's gonna explode. 
crashing the mobile artillery into a house. How long have you been in the force? Sorry, sir. It's just that we were trying to go as fast as we could, like you ordered. But it's impossible to get back to the military district in only 40 seconds. I don't want any excuses. Champions don't whine. They win. Yes, sir. You're a disgrace to the uniform. Are you forgetting the shame you brought on this force during joint maneuvers with Colony 6? Stick your back into it, maggots! Move it! Yes, sir. Get the artillery back to the military district double time! Then I want a million press-ups from both of you. And you better not stop until your biceps explode! Colonel, we can't move the artillery. What? You better give a damn good reason why. Sir, the impact of the crash damaged the ether conduction cable. The ether fuel proceeded to leak out, and now the cylinder is empty. Well, change the cylinder then. Can't you even do something as simple as that? The auxiliary cylinders have all been used up. It'll be three days until more come in, sir. I told you to keep a stock of fuel in reserve. Sorry, sir. You're nothing but slackers. Same old colonel. At this rate, the men will all be dead before they see any action. Well, that went well. Let's go accept more quests. Give me all the quests. Welcome back. Now, very quickly, I think someone may be back here. I'm not sure. They may have gone already. Alright. Well, one of the good things about this game is that at any time, you can, well, change the time. So, let's say I change it back to 10. And there we are. We have Dean. He's being a creeper. Slightly creeper. Slightly. Not too significant of a creeper, but still, a slight creeper. Oh, and you still have more quests. Oh, okay, so you were reading Gay Hentai. That's that, that's pretty normal, actually, for you. That, it's you, Kel. We know you were. Also, welcome, Loco. Uh, yes, 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 Lake Flammy and the baby army. Okay. That's not too bad. And there is more. There are literally side quests for days. They're all optional, obviously. And really, to complete the game, you don't have to do any of them. Like, even for grinding, y you don't even have to grind, to be completely honest, which blows my mind, to be honest. Anyway, I think we're good. You good? You're good. Can I talk to you guys? Yes. Okay, never mind. Can I talk to you? No. I can talk to them, but, you know. Like, if they don't have a name, it won't add. Loco Pops. Oh my god. Uh, I'm good. I I'm fairly good. I'm just sort of uh, playing this. Uh, it's going all right. It's a, I'm, I admit I am a little bit tired, but it's something I can't handle. Evil Rangrot. It's on Tefra Hill. I've been ordered to kill it by myself. That's impossible for one person. Can't you go and do it for me? Yeah, sure. Why not? I play some Overwatch in a bit. Okay. I'd ask you to join me, but um, I guess that would be too much to ask. Yeah, I mean, like, this isn't exactly a game you can really easily commentate over if you're not actually playing it, so it would make, it wouldn't really make sense, would it? Mm. Hey, well, whatever. Um, let's see here. Anybody around here I can talk to? Yo. Do, 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 boom. Oh, Talk to you. And can I jump over this? I cannot jump over this. That is kind of sad. Fuck. I 
I mean, I don't mind. I mean, I'm just basically doing this. I could probably stop and play some Overwatch if you want. Though, I mean, I do want to try. I do want to put some time into this. Two small shells, yeah, nothing too major. Nothing I can't handle. Now let's head in there and take care of the Monado. Kel is best gamer grill, just saying. All right, Shulk. How are you? Dixon! When did you get back to Colony 9? <laughs> just now. I see you've been busy. Looks like your Monado research has been going well. I made the right choice leaving you in charge. <laughs> your research notes really helped. So, you can activate it now, then. Well, anyone can activate it. The problem is controlling it. Yeah, for everyone except him. Yes. If anyone other than Dunban were able to control the Monado, we could surpass any military force in the world. You think so? What are these hidden functions you mention? It's still only conjecture, but it's starting to look like the Monado might be something far more significant than just a weapon for defeating Mechon. I see. And the evidence to support your theory? It's the symbol that appears in the center when it's activated. What I know is, the central piece is made from multi-layered glass. The symbol appears on the top layer, and each layer is constructed differently. So it's possible that other symbols could appear on different layers. Which means... The Monado might conceal even more power. Am I right? If we could just... Unlock the Monado's power. Dunban! Dunban! Prioritize the most severely injured! Come on, get a move on! Dunban! Don't look like that. I haven't come yet. It was the Monado. It was controlling me. Even so, it saved us. Saved our future. Next, it will be up to you. <gasps> Dunban. Well, I better get the supplies delivered to the defense force. I'll drop round the HQ and see how they're getting on. Okay then, I'll see you later. Shulk, you're spending too much time in the lab. Either that or rummaging for junk in the scrapyard. It ain't healthy for a kid your age. That's why you're always looking so pasty. You should get out, get some fresh air once in a while. All right, I'm off. <laughs> Ah, is it time to eat already? You didn't have to bring it yourself. You could have just called me. Don't be silly. Do you want me to feed you? <laughs> Don't treat me like an invalid. I'm better than I was a year ago. Much better. 
I really thought I lost you back then. Yes, but now I'm almost well enough to handle the Monado again. Dumban, don't say that. The Meccan have gone now. Oh, why would you say that? I just mean I'm prepared. Sorry. Okay. More importantly, eat up before it gets cold. I made something really special today. Don't feel like you need to stay here then, Fiora. Go and make your next delivery. Huh? Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. That's okay. Shulk has no sense of taste. He'll say it's delicious even if it's stone cold. <laughs> In which case, today he would actually mean it. Hmm, maybe. I'm fine, Fiora. Off you go. Okay. Dumban, thanks. finished yet. I have to be prepared to use the Monado again. There would be a lot of plot going on around here. Anyway. Oh. Come on, let me click. Let me, let me, let me do things. There we go. Delivering food. Fiora has made something special for Shulk. Taking him for before he gets cold. Because let's just set feminism back about 30 years. Maybe now 40, actually. Not even bad. But Fiora is another character we get to play as. Hey, Fiora. Dixon. Looks like you're in a hurry. Where are you off to? I just thought I'd take Shulk some food. I'm on my way to the lab. Shulk's not there right now. Really? I just sent him out to get some fresh air. You know where he'll have gone. Outlet Park. That's the one. Okay. Thanks, Dixon. I personally feel like they really do need to do make a remaster of this. Because, yes, the characters do look really kind of off. Maybe it's the fact that their faces look so poorly proportioned. Maybe it's the fact that their fingers are so stubby, or maybe... Maybe it's the fact that I should probably just look at them from the back. Probably for the best. And, yeah. Kinda. I mean, I feel like the game is a lot better if you don't take into account the graphics, because this game was on the Wii. The Wii doesn't exactly have the best of graphical looks. And I feel like the personality of the game really comes out as you play through it. As said, there's more to this game than meets the eye, I can promise you that much. It has a lot of amazing stuff to it. Like, I feel like the entire game, if you look at it's like one of the, it's... Well, yes. I won't deny that. Like, look at this game. Look at this. Look at all these. Look at this amazing, beautiful rock texture. But guess what? From all the way over here, this looks fucking gorgeous. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, oh my god. But other than that, like, if you're up close, look, this shit's ugly. We got, like, fake ass stairs. Like, just Jesus. But, it's one of those games where it's like, it, it looks way better if you look at everything really, really fu- I, yeah, where does the love go in that sentence? That's really weird. Anyway, back to plot. The Monado. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. They say that before time began, 
It was wielded by the Bioness. The same Bioness that we all live on. It must have a secret. That's how Dunban was able to destroy so many Mekon. And why he lost the use of his right arm. If I can just unlock the secret of its power. Shulk. Fiora. Mm. This is great. It tastes so good. Really? It's amazing. Oh, Shulk. You say that every day. Not quite. Mm. It's always delicious. But today, it's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I used some special herbs and spices today. So if you said it was just the same as usual, I'd know for sure you had no sense of taste. What? Oh, nothing. The breeze feels so good. Yeah. I'd forgotten what it feels like. I never thought it could be so quiet here. You're spending too much time with Ryan. You're getting used to all the noise he makes. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so peaceful. You know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this, always. Huh? The debris siren. Strange. There hasn't been much falling lately. <sighs> there might be more on the way. The anti-air batteries can't protect us out here. Let's get back to the lab. Okay. I'm going to figure out something else to play. I'll be back.
Now arriving at Li Jiang Tower. Blossom is ready.
play of the game. Happens to the best. I'm not good. Happens to the best of us. Muertos is a cancer on the city. Oh, turn it up! Attack commences in 30 seconds. Look at this team. We're gonna do great. Just get the job done.
you strong. Defenses.
Incoming in 30 seconds. <laughs> Get rid of me that easily. nicht. Get rid of me that is.
30 seconds remaining. The hunter. Welcome to Hollywood. Prepare to attack. Entering the temple of Anubis. <laughs> Prepare to attack. Good to be home. Attack commences in thirty seconds. Ready for combat operations.
Was hat das? Ultimate is ready. Let's go, go. Welcome to Hollywood. Prepare your defenses.
Now arriving at Mijang Tower. Never die.
Please take healer, guys. Healer, we need healer. Thank you. Thank you. this. 